to another episode of Bear Talk. Thank you for joining us on this new episode in this new virtual setting. We are excited to keep bringing helpful information to you. So today we have invited Mark Gager. He is the Chief Information Officer for the Bear County Information Technology Department, also known as BCIT. Mark is here to talk to us about BCIT's efforts during this COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you so much, Mark, for being here on Bear Talk. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, Mark, BCIT has been working hard in making sure every office and department has the right tools to be successful working remotely. Can you tell us more about your department's efforts when adjusting to the changes that came with COVID-19? Yeah, sure. Uh, so BCIT supports all offices and departments in the county, roughly 53 or 54 offices and departments. Uh, we've done a lot. We were able to uh, respond very quickly when the stay home, work safe orders uh, went into effect. We rolled out hundreds, if not thousands of laptops to individuals across the county. Uh, we were able to quickly establish a secure way for them to access all of the tools uh, and software that they need to do their job. Uh, we deployed wi or MiFi hotspots where we needed to, where folks may not have had a strong Wi-Fi connection at their home, um, and, and other things like uh, all-in-one printers and, and that. So uh, even in addition to that, we've received approvals of up to $30 million from commissioner's court uh, to continue moving forward uh, to uh, promote a, a telework environment across the county. Our goal is to, to have about 2,500 of the 5,000 Bear County employees working from home. So. Wow, that is a lot of work that you guys got done in a very short amount of time. And Mark, can you talk to us or can you walk us through the problem solving process with offices and department? For example, I know that you work closely with the county clerk's office. Can you talk to us about that partnership? Yeah, so uh, one thing that's very important to us in order to make sure that we're not just deploying technology for the sake of deploying technology, is to build those relationships first and foremost with those offices and departments. So it's good that we had those in place. Uh, with the county clerk, uh, our county clerk at the county is very progressive uh, in her thinking. Uh, we've worked with her on not just work from home initiatives, but uh, extending their services to the public through mobile command vehicles so she could take uh, what they do out to the different um, precincts in the county to deliver those services to her constituents. Uh, we have worked closely with the courts to include the county clerk's office to assess what their needs are around virtual courts to uh, support that process in a remote environment. So since each office and department is unique, uh, it's, there are a lot of questions, a lot of collaboration. Um, we can pivot really quickly and, and deploy a lot of different technology solutions. Um, so it's just a collaborative effort from a problem solving perspective. It's what are the, what is the issue? And then there's multiple technology ways technologically to solve the issues. Um, so it's really just understanding their business. And Mark, you mentioned being progressive. Can you talk to us about why it's important being a connective, innovative county? How is it beneficial to our county residents? Yeah, so at the end of the day, what we want to do is ensure that folks can engage in county services in the safest and most secure way possible, right? So with COVID, you know, social distancing is very important. So as many of our services um, as we can extend uh, through electronic channels uh, makes sense, both from a, a ease of service or ease of access uh, perspective to our citizens, uh, but it also promotes uh, health and safety, right? So um, our Bear 2.0 strategy that Commissioner's Court is, again, I mentioned $30 million chosen to invest uh, $30 million into has really two components. One is around telework, but the other is around e-government services. So it's extending as many of our county services as we can. Uh, so we have a really good innovative team in BCIT, a really progressive team. We focus a lot on innovation and it's really allowed us to uh, build a lot of technology solutions uh, that, that the citizens uh, reap the benefit of. And when you when you mentioned e-services for our residents, that just means maybe some services that are online that the residents will be able to utilize to avoid that person, that face-to-face -face interaction, correct? That's correct, yeah. So for example, uh, virtual courts is a big one and they've even uh, started moving uh, jury trials to virtual courts now so jurors can participate in that process 
without hundreds of jurors needing to come down to a central jury room uh, where only a small percentage of them may be selected to actually serve on a jury. Now all of that can be handled through questionnaires online. Uh, the selection process can handle be handled online and they can actually participate as a juror online. So. Right, and that also would include maybe some payments to be able to be done online as well. That's correct, like parks reservations, um, certain things with the tax office to being able to make tax payments online, uh, as well as other county services that you can make online. Great. Well, Mark, I want to thank you so much for coming on Bear Talk today and giving us all this information that I know will be very helpful to our community and we'll be able to stay connected and for also being innovative. The whole BCIT department has done an amazing job. And we hope to keep bringing new episode of Bear Talk in this new virtual setting. If you have anyone in mind that you would like for us to interview, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you, Mark. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate it.